Uh, okay, so I've uh, replaced the uh, 2.5 ohm current viewing shunt resistor uh, in the Rosemary Ainsley over Unity circuit with uh, the correct value of uh, 0.25 ohms. That's pretty close to 0.25 ohms there. And that's our current viewing resistor that we're using to monitor the input to the Ainsley circuit. And you can see the scope probe hooked up there, the ground lead on the left and the probe lead on the right. And uh, so that's uh, monitoring the voltage drop across that resistor, which by Ohm's law will give us the current um, into the circuit. Okay, and uh, oops, this where I want to go. Yeah. Okay, so there's the whole circuit board there. Replacing that current viewing resistor made a huge difference in the behavior of the circuit, um, and I'll show you that soon. Okay, so there's the basic setup there as in the still shots that I showed, so we've got 2.4 kilohertz uh, from the function generator, the duty cycle is uh, less than 5% and staying with the A and B channel conventions that Ainsley uses We've got uh, channel A is on the bottom, and channel A is the output. Channel B is on the top, and channel B is the input, which is from the current viewing resistor. And uh, on this meter here, this is monitoring the battery voltage. Just uh, El Cheapo right across the battery, which is there. So we've got 24 volts going in, and what I'm going to do is uh, what I'm going to do is turn up the gate drive, and you'll see what happens. So this is the gate drive control right here. So I'm um, turning it up now, and. Uh, on the still pictures that I published on overunity.com, the input trace uh, was very spiky, but the output trace was rather well behaved. In this case, the output trace gets uh, some very interesting behavior. Okay, so channel A, which is the output, is this one here, the bottom. You can already see some spikiness developing there. And uh, channel B, which is the current viewing resistor, the input, is uh, this one here. Okay, so now we're going to go up a little bit more. And you can see that spike. Can you see that? See that spike developing? I've got the intensity turned all the way up. There's a big spike developing on the trailing edge of the output. So I'm going to turn off the input trace so that you can just concentrate on that output trace and as I get to the full overdrive situation I don't know if you can really see that or not but the, the spike has disappeared off the top of the screen and uh, it's also kind of there's a bottom spike and there's also a leading edge spike and you can't quite make it out at this resolution but there's a beautiful ring down there and I'll see if I can display that for you. Can you see that nice ring down? Let's see. And let's, I'm going to crank it down to see if we can see the top of the spike. On this voltage range, I can't even move the scale down far enough uh, to resolve the top of the spike. 
So what I'll do is switch to a different voltage range and then we'll go up and now I can just about see the top of the spike which is right there and that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven major divisions at five volts per division so that's uh, 55 volts at least in that spike there with a nice ring down so there's a lot of power in that uh, and that's on the load and as you can see when I touch the load resistor I'm changing its inductance and capacitance so you can see that waveform change quite a bit as I just grab the load, the load resistor like this and I still can't really feel the load resistor getting warm oh yeah one other thing notice the uh, voltmeter so I'm going to crank it down a little bit so you get rid of that now there's the battery voltage but then as I start getting that spike in there the voltmeter gets very confused ooh yeah baby poor old voltmeter don't know what's going on as we get into that ringy there so this is uh, what happens when you run a MOSFET way outside of its normal performance parameters and uh, when we get the correct MOSFET for the Ainsley circuit the IRF PG50 uh, my bet is we'll see exactly the same thing okay that's it thanks for watching